Negative painting is a term that's frequently used when talking about watercolor. It has to do with painting around shapes to make them appear instead of painting them directly. The whites of the paper are saved by painting around them without using mascoid or frisket, any type of resist at all. The painting starts with a underpainting and I like to start with a mixture of three colors, a red, blue, and a yellow. To show you what these are, these are the three colors that I chose. The quinacridone sienna, leaf green, and the French ultramarine blue. And I come up with the selection by looking at colors that best relate to my subject matter. And these three colors are what I start with, and I'll use them throughout the process, but additional colors of pigments will be added in. Now, my colors and paints are transparent artist grade watercolors. Now, transparent is a term that's often confused because they, people think that all artist grade watercolors are transparent, and they are not. There's transparent, semi transparent, and opaque, and they're all artist grade watercolors. But with negative painting, I stay away from any opaques and just use semi-opaques very early on in the process. So the pigment has a lot to do with being able to do this technique. Looking at the bigger picture, you can see how many lights I have retained by painting around. Lower in the painting, you can see a lot of very dark and saturated color that is built up with glazes. And glazes simply mean painting over a wet passage, well, a dry passage with very wet paint that is transparent. And when you look in here, you can see there's a lot of color. You can see there's kind of a rose or a quinacridone magenta that's used in my darks very dark uh, blues that are allowed to mix on the paper as well as on the palette. That's these layers of transparent glazes that will give me my darks. Since I do not use a black or a gray in negative painting, I prefer to build up and create my own colors through mixing on the paper and towards the end I will mix more in the palette. So when you look at negative painting, what is a negative shape? If you look at the suggestion of that leaf, the underpainting is the leaf and I painted around darker passages. You can see it here. And you can see just how much the whites really glow once you have some darks against them. Most of the painting is done negatively with a little bit of positive accents towards the end, such as the center of the flowers here. This approach to me is quite exciting. I enjoy the process of building up color through multiple passages. And if you want to learn more about it, just check my website or my blog and I hope you'll give this a try.